Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Alrighty, when we left off, I had uh, apparently picked up this uh, <laughs> this crafting recipe uh, just completely by accident. Didn't even know that this was a thing, but I've picked it up, and now that I've looked at it, I kind of want it. So, um going to make it there we go and kind of want to see how it is compared to oh boy that is very powerful compared to what i currently got it does thermal damage instead but also has a bonus ricochet damage and b a really high burn chance because that is apparently what this iconic gun is about purely burn chance so there we go that is a very useful thing. I'm going to unequip that, equip that, and equip that on there. There we go. I'll break this down for sure. Don't need that. Absolutely do not. Now, um, reduces reload time. That would be good. Increasing damage by five would also be good. We're Increasing critical damage by five. Also very nice. But this is purely dots. So any way I can add more chance to destroying the enemy via not having to shoot at them is probably a good idea. So there we go. Upset to 23%. That is very good. Very, very good. I'll break down this gun since I don't need it anymore. Alright, so I got two iconic guns now, Dying Knight and Psalm 11.6. I'm not sure what that one is off the top of my head, but uh, probably, <laughs> probably has something to do with fire. So, call that good. Eventually, I might get rid of this gun here, eventually. I don't know what I will replace it with, but I might get rid of it. Because while it does look cool, and it does function pretty cool, I don't really need it all that badly. There we go. But it is kind of useful in a pinch. I won't lie. If I'm going to have to swiftly click off of my long gun, and then get right into the nitty gritty, it's pretty cool. And, you know, something I can rely on. But, anyway, I was up here because I had gotten that uh, cyber deck upgrade. And now, we're going to be using it a little bit. Um, hmm. I want to plot out my moves real quick. So that way I know what I'm doing with them. This is pretty easy and the breach time is very low because it's very easy. So... Okay. There. And there. And there. Perfect. That did all of them. And gave me everything. There we go. Increases components acquired by 10%. That is really good. Alright. And the main reason that I was able to do it with that is because... Well, I was able to do that a lot better with this particular cyber deck. is because there was a lot more chances to put in the right code. That is kind of... A big deal. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. There's, there's been little tips and tricks I have picked up and learned over time. That gives me a better feel of how this works. Ooh, what is this? Huh. Losing my religion. That was a mission I picked up that apparently... 
I had started that I don't quite remember starting. It's really weird. It is really weird because that should not have happened. Oh, that should be off. Bye. This should be off too. Why aren't some of these back on? I remember breaking these. There's no re... What the what? <laughs> I looted this place. Like, thoroughly. That's wild. Okay. Local network. Surveillance system. Turn off. Turn off. There we go. Remote takeover. That's something. The fuck are you sending me? Rat poison? Bleach? Got three clients in the ER. Another one already flatlined. Clients are starting to get spooked. Thought we had a deal. Thought I could trust you. We're done. Oh boy. Need someone to watch your back? Okay. That's a whole different thing. <laughs> we picked up and then removed a cube. Just a nondescript cube. Interesting. Well, since I was able to loot things again, I kind of want to go around again <laughs> and make sure that I didn't miss anything. Because maybe I missed something and I just didn't know. I suppose it's possible. It'd be silly, but I suppose it's possible. Huh. Anyway. And down we go. Whee! Alright. Item-wise, what did I pick up? Oh, that was what that was. A smart gun. Not my particular cup of tea. It's an option, sure. It's just not my particular feel that I would prefer. Um, I think there was other items I picked up too, wasn't there? Um, key to Jackie's room, and the stash, and tequila bottle, Jackie's go-to liqueur. Oh, miss you, Jackie. Alright, um, get rid of these, get rid of these. Because a lot of these I do not, to be, do not need to be holding on to because, well, I'm not going to use them. So, that pretty much solves that problem right there. Overclocked processor. What was this? Devastating Berserk. Okay. It looked similar, so I thought if I don't need both of them, I'll just get rid of both of them. But, uh... Oh. I'll get rid of that. Don't need that. Hmm. Alrighty. Oh! Oh! Made that available. Cool. Um, that won't upgrade any further. How about this? Can I upgrade this further? Just a little bit. Not all the way, but a little bit further. How about this? Eh? Alright. Reached level 11. Now it's good. Perfect. Oh! I went up to the next level of crafting, which apparently unlocks a whole bunch more crafting opportunities. Well, look at that! And a chance to get the pistol I'm running, just in uncommon quality. Which is, okay. It's alright. Not ideal, but it's alright. Definitely won't outclass the one I currently have, that's for sure. But hey, it's an option. It is an option. Okay, um... I'll take it. Anyway. Oh, this is a stash. What am I thinking? Alrighty. There we go. We're gonna go over to that place I was at. Which should have given me this quest. For some reason... It gave me without actually talking to the person who would give me the quest. Yeah. 
That is some music. Alright, um, it would be right around the weapon shop where I'd gotten the guns. Well, the uh, upgrade components from the gun shop guy. He was also kind of a bit of a jackass, but he is what it is. Alright, and then we go down this way. Alright, gotta go this way as well, because who I was supposed to talk to is over here, why I had it marked off already is a little weird, so let's do this properly now. It is not mine, none of this me, cold, death, metal, all of it, what, what have I done to deserve this? To fall victim to Hinsa! It itches. Should it itch? Why do I feel anything? It it is nothing but I'm feeling metal. Calm down. <sighs> Forget your own soul. You must save his. Uh, help! Are you, Someone uh, please help me! Are you okay? Don't you uh take a vow against chipping implants? Of course we do. You think I did this to myself? I apologize I cannot bow in greeting. I am still adjusting to my situation. Clearly. Hold on. Somebody forced you. Not just me. My brother, too. They drugged us. Desecrated my body. Jesus. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? Makes no sense. We go and do something like this. And why? We were out begging for alms when... when they approached us. They laughed at us and asked if we would take implants as a donation. They looked more machine than human. They told us they would improve us like tools. Maelstrom. Sounds like Maelstrom, all right. How about your brother? You still with him? Yes. I was first. Then they were trying to decide how, how to modify him. Jesus. You look like someone who can reason with these people. I beg you, please help my brother. I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like... like I have. What's in it for me? I don't work for free, you know. I cannot offer anything more than my gratitude. Uh-huh. Just this once. Please, make an exception. The universe shall compensate you. Yeah, uh, I guess technically it will, but... Chrome-sucking psychos. It won't be easy. Maelstrom never goes down the easy route. The fucking clowns. Help us, please. But without any bloodshed, I beg you. I'll see what I can do. Either way, your brother's getting out. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. How poetic. Okay. A monk in distress. They should include this in your epic. What are you gonna do? Cross your legs and meditate till they drop dead? Oh, fuck off. You drop dead. <laughs> Alright, well, fair enough. And then he doesn't disappear. Here. Usually he does. Okay, uh, I'll go get those upgrades. More upgrades, because I'm going to need them. Uh, how low was my other upgrade thing? I was looking for rare item components. Okay. I need a little more of those. Just to top off. Oh, would you shush? Oh, just leave me alone. How about shut the fuck up? How about that? Oh. Blunt weapon may not be lethal, but your enemies will wish it was. Interesting. That'd be nice. 
Uh, screw it. I'll just take all of them. And I will sell the other junk that I picked up that I don't need. Uh, Ram jolts like that. That stuff I don't need. Like at all. Um, there's all the booze. Don't need any of that. Or this. Or this. Or that. Um, definitely don't need something that expensive. Jesus. Sell that quick. Um, hmm. Some of these are good to have in the back pocket, but a lot of them I don't really need to have in the back pocket. So I'll just sell them off. Not like I need it that badly. Okay. Cool. And I'm done. Let's get out of here. Save the monk and defeat the gangoons. So, they want me to do it without killing them. That's going to be the main trick. But, since I did happen to unlock the ability to craft a blunt weapon right here. That was weird. <laughs> Electric Baton Alpha. Uh, may not be lethal, but your enemies will wish it was. That might actually get us where we need to go with this particular mission. Especially if I can't manage to do that. Oh, it's action blocked? Really? That'd be weird. And nothing there. Do I need any of these? Not really. This one. Grenade is okay. Don't really need them sticky. Non-lethal. Non-lethal. Electromagnetic waves that deal electrical damage. Especially useful against drones, mechs, robots, turrets, and cameras, as well as their abilities. Especially effective against organic enemies, which is also technically non-lethal. Alright, well, if I'm going to be going into this non-lethally, might as well go full hog. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Almost crashed again. That would not have been nice. Huh. Hmm. Oh, there's one of them. All right. Okay. There's only one guy outside, as far as I can tell. Huh. Breach protocol. Okay. And in we go. And let's see. And let's keep him stuck there. And... Non-lethal. There we go. Coffee with synth milk, huh? Well. Messages. Porno BD. Okay. That is pretty straight and to the point. Ah. Well. Explains a bit. Ah. Breach protocol for the entirety of the area. 
There we go. Nope, okay. Whew. All right, um, reboot optics. That's not who I wanted. Okay. Um. Well. Okay, well. That did that. Grab you. Non-lethally deal with you. Oh boy. Ping. Okay, they got a couple more over here. Okay, let's reboot their optics. Fuck me, what is it now? Uh, what is it now is me taking you down and doing it real quiet like. Alright. Take your stuff. You don't have a jaw. I only just noticed you don't have a jaw. That is messed up. Okay, ping. You're the only one left on the whole area. And with that in mind. Reboot your optics. It's a little easier to do this. And whoop. And down you go. There we go. There we go. And we did the good thing. Booyah. I'm just happy I managed to do it this way. Haha. <laughs> -ha. We did it without murder. Do not for do this. once. Invitations against my police. Please. I do not want them. No, it's fine. It's fine. Relax. Caught in the maelstrom. I stood in the middle of Totentans, my knuckles white, tightly gripping on an Achilles M179E rifle. It was shoved into my hands just seconds before the attack. My face, arms, and synth leather jacket... Soaked in the blood and brain matter of a psycho I just shot. Whoa. Uh, my contact, a 30-year-old maelstromer with a green mohawk, patted me on the shoulder. Man, Phil, you ain't half shit, he tells me appreciatively. Took you for a pussy, bitch, but gotta admit, you got some steel-clad balls after all. And don't worry about that sad scrap heap. If, there's a, if there ain't at least 20 bodies, you can't call it a maelstrom party. What had already been an unsettling experience took a turn to a whole other level. The other maelstromers continued to mock me, but I could detect a tone of approval through all the vocal distortion. My ho 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 hawked mohawked contact even <laughs> proposed that they install in me one of their distinct rudimentary implants. Fortunately, they didn't have in mind their iconic optics suite, so I accepted. My popularity continued to grow. No way you'd get the Maelstrom mug so easy, he laughs. That tech's only for initiates. We pluck out their eyes and peel back the skin. No anesthetics. You survive, you, you're in. Whoa! Whoa, wait a second. They do that to you with no anesthetic whatsoever. No wonder they're crazy. Jesus! With the atmosphere now more relaxed, I asked if the rumors had been true. Do they accept contract killings? My mohawked source nodded with enthusiasm. My mohawk source nodded. I'm assuming the sourced was supposed to not be that phrasing. Oh yeah, we make good scratching. It's a great morale booster. You know, machines ain't bothered with a mess of feelings, and that's what we aim for. Doing hit jobs like that helps us gouge out all the gooey emotions we still got left. Recently, this one guy got all whiny and snot-nosed just because we roasted some kid. I told him, I said, Dude, you better relive some suppressor BD and fast, or boss man's gonna blow your head off. The gonk should have fucking listened. 
as I listened to his explanations and anecdotes, I realized that amusement clearly must not be one of their blacklisted emotions. And then I couldn't help but wonder, are machines capable of laughter? Yeesh. Well, that gives you a little bit of how uh, Maelstrom acts. Yeesh. All right, well, take all of that. Take your stuff. And I'll take all of this. Take all that, too. All right, it's okay. You're Calm safe. Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. Yeah. So, what are you doing here? What happened? Uh. Glad I got here in time. Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? I was lucky. They could not decide which implant would be funnier. Jesus. Cyber psychos. The lot of them. One, one of them wanted to remove my jaw. The thought itself gave me shivers. Probably the Thankfully, guy who already didn't have a jaw. A to what do I owe this intervention of yours? Your brother. He was walking by, caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Nah. The truth, your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. From the bottom of my soul, thank you. I'm especially grateful nobody was killed. May you continue on the path of peace. What compels these monsters is of no consequence. It's not up to us to judge what they deserve. How'd you even get taken by Maelstrom? Most people avoid him like the plague. We are here as strangers. We wander from place to place. When we arrived in Nice City, we had no time to identify its dangers. Don't monks live in monasteries? It used to be they did not. My brother and I belong to a group that follows the earliest Buddhist teachings. Mm. It is an interesting life. We have met many unusual people. Makes sense. Yeah, so I see. Yeah. There's no need for sarcasm. We know the world is dangerous. But if one takes no risks, one will never know what lies beyond the front door. I'm sure you understand. No, you're right. You're right. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First, I must catch my breath. And then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Look who's taken the righteous path. If you're so afraid of killing, maybe you should have become a monk instead of a merc. Killing isn't the solution to everything. If you want to change the world, there's always a price to be paid. As for these chrome fucks, you think they got all this gear by sitting around going, um... If they had enough to spare on monks, then surely they don't need all of it. Yeah, true. Very true. And, I mean, hey, just because I was peaceful this time does not mean that I won't be next time. You know. I typically go for the kills nine times out of ten anyway, so it works out. Anyway. Oops. Can I turn that off? Thank you. Kind of curious if I could. Oh. Didn't realize there was a security camera here. Interesting. I don't know if it would have helped. Actually, there's a lot of cameras over here. Why is my phone buzzing? I thought I turned off that alarm. <laughs> well, I apologize for that. Okay, there is... There is possibly a lot more going on in here than I thought. I'm going to see if there's... Oh, that's an exit, but I can't use it because I don't have the technical ability to. Alright, um... Okay, um... Okay, there that went. And that didn't work. Okay, I was hoping it would, but I guess not. That's fine. 
isn't terrible. I just want to see if there's anything else in here that I can loot. The fuck was with my arms? <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Um. There we go. No, no, nothing particularly good. All right. Oop. All right. That was. <laughs> I don't know how that. Got me street cred, but all right. Um, this? Hmm. I find it odd that some of those are still running, even though they're not doing anything. Oh, well. Let's get out of here. All right. Now that that's done... Head for my bike. And I guess... Since I don't need this anymore either... Break that down. Break all of these down. Cool. And that's... Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I can't upgrade grade these again, so might as well do that. I did not mean to do that one, but hey. Worked out. Okay. I definitely will need more rare item components and rare upgrade components. That is definitely something I need. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, we did get a level up. So, where should I put that? Ah, technical ability. That's probably a good idea. And disassembling items grants a 20% chance to gain a free component of the same quality as a disassembled item. Additionally, there is a 5% chance to gain a free component of higher quality than the disassembled item. That's pretty good. Especially if I'm going to be dumping myself headlong into uh, crafting, because crafting is very useful, then yeah, I definitely want to have that ability sitting there for me. And since now I can open this, do that to get a little engineering experience. Always good. This is a very broken down car. Okay, time to get on my bike. And where shall we go next? Yeah, just an assault in progress. Might as well fix that. Whee! Alrighty. And whoop, that ain't too bad. That's actually pretty close now. Assault in progress, huh? Whoopsie doodle. Hello. Uh, easy way to do this, huh? There we go. Had to make it more complicated than it really needed to be. Alright, um... Reboot optics. There we go. And we'll just not have you move. And there we go. Haha. -ha. Signet ring, huh? Not exactly what I was expecting. 
Uh, it strikes me. Huh. Well, might as well short circuit him. The gong's hiding somewhere. <laughs> All right, where is the one trying to reveal my position? Huh. Interesting. I have no idea where they are. But apparently they revealed my position. Whatever. Um, reboot optics and... Uh. Alright, let's make you so you can't move. There we go. And you're gone. All right. Stapler and tomato juice. <laughs> there we go. You're done. Heavy duty biker boots. Huh? Ah, might as well. Access code? For what? Top secret data to be read in Corp HQ upon receipt of one-time access code. If this document has been lost, the finder is obligated to destroy it immediately or face a monetary fine and or death. Well, shit. A lot of money there. That's good. Uh, don't need that. But let's take read this real quick. Data encrypted. Enter key to access. Oh. Okay, that would be in shards, actually, I think. Uh, go to shards here. Order. Not that. Patent. There we go. Enter key to access. Notice of expiration. What is... How do I get the thing, then? I don't understand. Um... Where is it? Where is the thing? I don't... <laughs> I don't understand. Uh... Shit. Alright, and... Oh, Jesus! Even if I'm doing melee, it hits them on fire. Wow, that is something. Dirk and Tim. Tim, we've got a problem. Nils took a few rounds in the back, and I can't stop the bleeding. We need evac now. See what I can do. You'll see? Just send a fucking car. You have the docks? Yes, we have the fucking docks. Good. Make sure they're secure. Nils is dying in my fucking arms at the moment. Yes, you said that already. Hold on a little longer. Working on it. Well, about that. Well. That didn't work out for them. That is not... It'll work out for me. It's not that particular maneuver. Okay. Now we jack in. Perfect. And... Hmm. Interesting. How 
How do I do this? had to think about it for a second, but I managed it. Okay, I had to plot out the path that would get me to all of them. And I did it, so haha. -ha. Okay, grab that. Alrighty. Dealt with that body. Kind of curious if that... Oh, even if they're dead, I can still <laughs> catch on fire. Wow. That is kind of messed up. Kind of cool, but kind of messed up. All right. Um, let us break down all the junk we just picked up. Increased damage to limbs. Huh? Well, that ain't going to happen. All righty. Huh. Well, that one thing didn't seem to uh, do much of anything, which is annoying, because I thought it should. Ah, well. Okay, uh, Ripper Doc. No, not going to him. We're going to get more upgrade stuff. Maybe I have to go to a uh, clothing shop. I intend on getting more upgrade uh, components because those will help keep everything, you know, tippy top shape. Might as well keep doing that as much as I can. Huh? I think it's more worthwhile, especially before I start getting into the proper mission shenanigans that will be coming up soon. Ooh, okay, all right. Almost overshot. All right. Once we get there, we'll see what their inventory looks like, and then I might end the episode from there. Depends on a lot of factors. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Managed to make it. It's fine. It's all good. Turkish delights, huh? Dead Zed. Interesting name for a shop. Is this a good time for you then? Hola. Hello. Hello. Look. Huh. Hmm. With that look, I doubt you from around Watson. I am now. Fair enough. All right, let's look at your stuff. New jacket. What do you recommend? What's it matter? Just pick something. All right. Shit. Girl doesn't really want to, you know, work her job all that well. Eh, well, it's fine. NCPD Titanium Ice Protected Ocu Set. Interesting. This is definitely a wider arrangement of stuff than I expected. Not that I'm complaining, though. Oh, I didn't have any components, but they do have specs for items that I didn't expect. And they have clothing mods, increasing movement speed and increasing armor. Hello, nurse. That is a lot of armor to be adding. I'm going to be grabbing that for obvious reasons. Um, studded biker vest. Spiked Maelstrom short sleeve jacket. Eh. Hmm. 
Worn a punk coat, huh? Eh. Yeah, they're okay. They're not great, but they're okay. But unfortunately, nothing of what I was looking for. I was looking for item components, and apparently they don't carry that. What they do carry is quite an array of items oh, so that I was not expecting. So, there's that. Hey, can't you see me? Um. Alrighty then. Glitch in the Matrix. Okay. Anyway. So, now that I've done that, and now that I've figured out that clothing shops do not have item components, but do have clothing mods which are something I will definitely like to know and want to go after more. Um, I'll go after this particular mission uh, in the next episode. But right now, time to end this one. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. See, I learned my lesson. If I have music playing in the background, it'll fuck me up. But now, won't be too bad. <laughs> this has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to uh, build up more equipment and uh, levels and cool doodads and tricks to finish up the game a little faster eventually. Uh, it's just, you know, going to be a long drag of me doing missions before that but i will get into the story eventually okay next episode i promise next episode i'll do it <laughs> i'll i'll do that after i finish this i will go to the main mission and we will start there that way we can actually get into the story a little bit in this particular act act two three i don't know we'll we'll get into it for you